I mean, I don't think we got too many Halloween things, honestly. Just a couple, right? We only got three Halloween things. Well, I guess, does this count as a Halloween thing? Halloween candles don't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven candles, of which five are for you. We're going ham. <laughs> Good morning. Can I get you something? Wait, you're gonna put pumpkin spice creamer and pumpkin spice coffee? Hell yeah! Wow. Are you just gonna try the coffee first without anything, just to see if it's good? No. No? It tastes good. Mm -hmm. It's the best time. You even thank me for getting your pumpkin coffee creamer. Thank you for my coffee pumpkin creamer. And I'm ready for my pumpkin reveal. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. It smells like fall, y'all. Yuck. <gasps> Which month is my favorite month? October. Wow, you know me so well. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite month. June. What? June. Wow, yeah. I know it's your favorite month because it's summer. My favorite month is actually January. That is a bold face lie. Wow, this coffee's good. Do you want to try it? In a second. My mugs are finally in season now. Yay. Yay. One month. They're all year round, though. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Did you I put like any it. other sweetener in it other than the cream? No, milk? I just put 2% milk and Chobani pumpkin spice coffee creamer. I would have probably did a little one Splenda. You should do that. You want me to make you one? No. But you want it cold. Yeah, I think I'm going to have cold one later. We're gonna get coffee later, right? I'm also craving the apple drink now from Starbucks. I want the apple drink too. Apple crisp. Apple crisp iced coffee. Oh my god, it was so good. You're not dog food and you're licking your lips like you've never eaten before in your life. Here you go. Go ahead. What about him? Does he get anything? Of course. He bullied. He's already had. I already gave him two treats. Right now I'll get more treats. <gasps> more treats. These are gonna be a lot of things. You go, pal. Fatty. Good morning. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new day. My cat mug is finally in season and I'm very excited about it. This coffee that Mike and I bought yesterday at Home Goods. We bought a pumpkin coffee. We we spent like a lot of money at Home Goods. It's no secret. And I think if you've been watching my vlogs recently, like I haven't really been doing the best. It has literally been dark and dreary and raining for the last week. Every week I've had a reason as to why I feel down. And that's okay because sometimes we just have bad weeks and I feel like I really haven't been having a good time since the end of August until it's gonna be October 1st tomorrow. But October is my favorite month. Halloween is my favorite holiday. And I feel like if there's any hope for me to be happy for the remainder of the year, and this is me just being real, it is October because November is Thanksgiving and then you gear up for Christmas. I don't like the holidays in general, like Christmas, Thanksgiving. I find Christmas to be very depressing. I have a lot of like core memories of Christmas with my grandfather who passed in 2016 and then like you can only imagine how many core memories I have of my father and I don't want to get upset but I'm already getting upset just thinking about it so I don't think November and December are going to be a good time for me so thank god we have October made a list of all the things in this vlog because I want to be more organized going forward I feel like I'm a little scatterbrained in these vlogs and I don't want to spend the first eight minutes sitting here talking to you I want to do things since tomorrow is October 1st we're gonna have this is gonna be our Halloween themed vlog so we're gonna decorate the house I bought a really amazing picture that I'm gonna show you guys that's Halloween themed but Mike and I bought a frame for it last night we're gonna hang it up and you know just like the mugs it's gonna be a little bit of Halloween all year round because that's how we do here what else do I have? I told you we're gonna do the Home Goods haul. I got that book that my aunt bought me. I wanna start reading it, give you guys a little bit of a review on that, see if I'm enjoying it. And yeah, it's just gonna be Halloween themed. We're gonna hang out, we're gonna do things. I need to run some errands, I need to go to the seamstress. But in the meantime, when we were in Vegas, I got a facial and I haven't gotten a facial since pre-COVID and it was very enlightening. So I've mixed up, changed up my skincare routine since having my facial. I showed you guys my morning skincare routine in my last vlog as well as my retinol routine. The only thing I'm gonna change in my retinol routine if you watched that video is I'm not going to use my Lily Henriksen AHA toner, the exfoliating toner with 
with the retinol. I'm gonna use a more hydrating toner with the retinol because when I went to get my facial, she, she said that my skin looks great. My skin's just very thin. And she said that I'm exfoliating too much. Anywho, I did my new face, you guys know. And in my last video, I told you guys that I've been wearing this after my new face, which has not changed. This is the Merit Great Skin Glow. I just, you're supposed to shake it. Very liquidy serum. So this is what I've continued to do just to add a boost of hydration while I work out and while I just do some errands around the house before I do like my official skincare routine. I'm not really changing my morning skincare. The only thing that I am changing is that Crystal told me I should be using an SPF 50, which I bought an SPF 50. I'm a little sad that my Maraud Perfecting Day Cream doesn't come in an SPF 50 because you guys know how much I love it. So we will try the new SPF 50 that I bought together. But I'm also wondering like now that the cooler months are upon us and I'm not gonna be outside as much and I'm not really gonna be sitting in the sun, like do I need SPF 50? I don't know, but we're gonna try it because my facial has told me to do it. I think I need a daytime moisturizer with no SPF so I can then put SPF on top of it. Like I just think my skin is really dry now that you put that in my head. Told me to take a collagen supplement. I used to take the collagen powder. I just remember it was so disgusting. Haven't tried it since. So I, I bought powder, honestly, while we were in Vegas and it was here the day we got home and I haven't tried it and it's been almost a week since we've been back. So I'm like putting that off, but we'll try it together. Let's try the Tatcha water cream. I could use this. See, I always say, oh, I need to go buy this. I really, I don't think I need anything. So I'm gonna use this as a moisturizer and I think I can get away with this in the cooler months, but like in the summer, I can't wear, like, I mean, I could, I guess I should try, but I don't like when my makeup moves. So I would just use my SPF as my moisturizer, like a two in one. I feel like my skin looks plumper since getting the facial, but I don't know if that's because of the facial or because of the products I've been using mixed with the facial. I guess I gotta see if the results last. I need to hurry up because we're supposed to leave in 10 minutes. I'm gonna give this like 60 seconds to sit. La Roche Posay 50, SPF 50. Shake well before, apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure. There's really no sun out. I don't like that, I'll tell you that now. Oh, it's like very liquidy. I'm gonna take a decent amount. Oh wow, that she's white. I definitely need a moisturizer under this because this is like very thin, whereas the Marab one that I always use is hydrating and like a thicker moisturizer. I don't like this already, I'll tell you that. I'm very white. I don't like this. <laughs> that sucks. I'll let it sink in. I just feel too like slick. Where's my eye cream? It was literally right in front of me. Banana Bright by Ule Henriksen. I really need to hurry up. I have five minutes. There's no way I'm getting makeup on my face in five minutes. I mean, I could. Rogan's getting yelled at. I don't know if you can hear my yelling at him in the garage, but here's the outfit very quickly because we are running late. I love these jeans, Hudson. Rag and bone boots. I love these, wore these all over Napa. So comfortable. I've been really into Tiger's Eye lately. Just a bit of makeup, not a lot. Fendi bag, it's like brown. Very fall vibes. Paper clip earrings. My tiger's eye. Louis belt. Fendi bag. And we need to go before I miss the seamstress and I can't get my jeans hemmed. I think I need to put my hair up also. I don't know what it's doing. It's greasy, yet I just washed it. I like this though. This has been my aesthetic lately. Chill. Look, we got our coffee. What did we get? Show the label, please. That's what we got. Grande shaken. We got bra shocking. Bra shocking. Yummy. Fall in a cup. I haven't been showing you because honestly, like, I just didn't have a great day today, keeping it 100%. Mike and I had a nice time. We went out, we grabbed food in uh, a cute little town. We walked around. Delish. But I just mentally was not doing great. Um, 
I don't know. I don't really know what happened. I just got like a little emotional and then I kind of, Mike and I took a nap for like two hours and yeah, that's just been my Saturday. I just feel tired, lethargic, a little sad, but we took a nap and then we woke up and him and I have been decorating for Halloween. And honestly, I thought we had so many more decorations than we actually have, which I wish I had known this before we went to Home Goods because I would have bought a bunch more. The reason why I even came on here was, can you see my skin? My skin right now looks amazing and i think it's because of the hydrofacial i think it's because i've been putting more hydrating products on my skin so my skin just looks a little bit more plumper and also like this sunscreen guys it feels very slippy slidey i can't lie to you and i think that during the summer it would be too much for me my maraud spf 30 let me show you her because she's right over here too like she just feels like a luxe like face cream. She does not feel like sunscreen. Whereas the one that I use today as I walk back, making sure to get my steps. I already hit my move goal though. 110 days in a row, I've hit my move ring. I'm so proud of me. I've been saying that a lot lately, like out loud, like I'm proud of myself and it makes me feel good. But anyway, I feel like my skin looks really good. And I think that in the winter, this will be good. But like what, who needs SPF 50 in the winter? I guess I do, but like, I think you need it more in the summer. If you have oily skin, I don't know, but I'm very dry. And I feel like when it went on, it was a little bit greasy and it just felt like heavy on my skin, but I feel like it's a beautiful primer for makeup. Look at these candles that he got me. He got me like a bajillion of them. There's literally how many ghost candles can one have? Three different ghosts. There's this ghost who looks a little scared, like someone frightened him this is one okay there's a lot in here but there's three different kind of ghosts there's this one that looks like he's like haunting you but also wants to give you a hug and then last but not least my favorite ghost is the classic ghost and honestly there is this instagram page i will link it down below i keep finding like these amazing artists on instagram and they have like etsy shops but I think it's called The Little Ghost Company. They make the cutest like ceramic ghosts. I really want to buy myself one and I feel like they would make like really good gifts. But they do drops on Tuesdays and I always miss the drops. Ghosts sell out in seconds. There was like a bat ghost. Y'all know I love bats. I really wanted it, but I missed the drop. So I'm going to see if I can get my hands on one this week. But these are the three little ghosts and I'm going to go figure out where I'm gonna put them and I will show you when I do the big reveal. We still need to do our home goods haul. Mike and I are gonna do that together tomorrow, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited to do the haul with him. I feel like he is just, I just very much enjoy looking at him. I don't know, I feel like it, it is gag, huh, I know, gross, nauseating, but he's so handsome. I love staring at him. I want him to be on video doing a haul with me. So I'm excited to do that, but also a little bit nervous. And I don't know if I should take my bat downstairs though. This is the bat. I don't know if I told you this, but Mike bought me this bat um, after my dad passed away and it had such a cute letter on it. I have it somewhere, but it says like, hang on, I'm here for you. How cute. I cried hysterically when he gave it to me. I love it. I will also link this down below. This is called Send a Friend and I bought my mom a penguin one shortly after. It's kind of like, it was like a cute chain reaction. Like Mike bought me one because I was sad. I bought my mom one because she was sad. We're all sad, but I'm going to leave him up here because I put him up here. I'll show you. And he just sits in the corner of my beauty room right here because the dog doesn't come upstairs at all and Brogan doesn't sit up there. And I don't, I know, I sound like Mike. I literally sound like Mike, but I don't want dog hair on my pet bat. I just don't. Look at our new bed sheets. This might need to be my wallpaper on my phone. This is Mike's favorite with the mummy. I love Woodstock as the mummy. I don't know, I like a pumpkin. I also love a witch. I love a ghost. I've been trying to get back into reading and I was reading this book that Mike recommended to me. And like, honestly, when I read the description, it sounded like something I would like. I think it's called Influenced. I'll put it down below. It's okay. Now that when I'm filming this, it is officially October 1st. I started reading this book that my aunt bought me for my birthday in April. I held on to it just because April springtime and I love it. Like I love, if you know anything about me, you know I love Halloween. You know I'm obsessed with Jack Skellington. The Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite Halloween movie. So she bought this for me in April and I just felt like I needed to save it to like save your the Halloween vibes. But this is Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnshaw. It's super cute, like I'm really into it. Basically, it's the story of Jack and Sally after 
you know, the movie ends, it talks about them like getting married and then it's like their life afterwards. I'm really into it. And honestly, I think it's just because Halloween is so like nostalgic for me. I just remember going trick or treating with my dad and like all my cousins and we would always have so much fun. I remember um, just being like terrified one time these people like came out of this house and like chased us. I just, I remember such good times and I remember my mom used to go in the basement. We had this dresser in the basement and it had like drawers of Halloween decorations and she'd bring them upstairs and we would put like stickers all over the front window of the house. Like I just, I think of my friends and I like creating our Halloween costumes. One year we were literally just Halloween for Halloween. It was me, Alexa and Brittany. And we just like painted shirts outside. Like I just have such fond memories of Halloween. It feels comforting. I love this season. And just like reading this, like let me just read you. This is how it starts in the prologue. At the crisp inky hour of midnight, Jack and I are married atop Spiral Hill in the Death's Door cemetery. Wind stirs the bone dry leaves and Jack takes my soft ragdoll hands in his, the coolness of his fingers calming the flutter rippling across my stitch seams. It's literally like every sentence has something Halloween related. My favorite word I think at the moment because I watch I think her name's Babe. She does these hysterical videos of like finding cheap houses. I love her. And she says sinister, like every other word, like the word sinister is in here, like everything. It's just very, it paints the picture. A rag doll with a skeleton ring, Halloween town. Everything is just very pumpkin jam, black licorice. It is literally Halloween in a book. And you have no idea how happy this makes me. So if you're a Halloween fan, it's just like a cute book, you know? I just feel like this is going to be a really fun, easy read. And I'm really going to enjoy this, this Halloween. So thank you, Aunt Debbie. I love it. And I will definitely let you know when I'm done and my thoughts on it without giving it away. Let me know if you've read this. Let me know if you're going to read this. It's super cute. I'm a, I'm a really big fan. But now I need to go work out now that I read a chapter. I just finished my workout. And I made a shake and I used my new collagen that I bought. I think I bought Vital Proteins. I did two tablespoons of the Vital Protein. You should use two to four tablespoons. Four tablespoons equals 20 grams. So I did two tablespoons, 10 grams, and I just measured it out on a, what's that called? Like a food measurer thing. And I'm like shocked that it doesn't taste disgusting because I've used collagen in the past and I really didn't stick with it because it just tasted gnarly but i can't taste it it tastes very frothy in here so it kind of tastes like a latte almost it's pretty delicious i really haven't done my research on collagen so please don't come for me i just bought it because like i said the facialist said that i need a little bit more collagen she told me to take supplements but i should do my research before trying something this is not sanitary to be using the spatula on my face and then dipping it back in but i'm just lazy and this is where i'm at and i bring this all the way down my chest I haven't put my necklaces back on since I got my facial. I need to start paying a little bit more attention to this region. So I just haven't put the necklaces back on and I miss them dearly. But I'm just in my like skincare era, I think right now. Ever since having that facial, it really opened my eyes because I thought I was doing a stellar job. But it just goes to show that, you know, you can't know everything. And I don't like this at first, but after a little while, it looks good. I'm using the Banana Bright Under Eye Cream. I'm gonna put a little bit of um what's it called chapstick i'm really my brain is not here today I'm putting a little bit of chapstick on honestly guys have you can you see my lips i haven't eaten them in a really long time they look really good well not a really long time i think it's been like two weeks since i've chewed it this is an amazon set that i got shortly after i did my last haul with you guys so it didn't make it in the last video so i'm gonna share it with you because i really do like it it's super cute and like honestly it's not so just like an elevated look you know like when you're home you want to be comfy cozy you don't want to be in your pajamas even though like truth be told i always want to be in my pajamas some days i look like a slob like the other day i literally was in my pajamas and my robe all day long but other days like i want to be comfy but i have a little bit more will to try does that make sense i'm gonna do my super quick makeup routine that i have been doing ever since i got my facial dior forever skin correct i'm in 1n I don't think this has been the year of a lot of makeup for me personally. I love makeup, but I've just been in and out. I want to get on with my life. Life is very short, which I've learned 
unfortunately. I'm using the RSLA Beauty Sponge. This is the first time I'm using this one and it kind of like matches my outfit. Honestly, I'm really relying on the skincare that I put on my face prior to really do the majority of the work. But like, look how beautiful. It's super light. It doesn't accentuate the fine lines. I have very dry skin. I find it to be like hydrating, but not messy. NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm back on this. I do really like this and I'm not using any foundation today just because I really haven't been using foundation and I'm using this with my Yensa brush. I have to say, while I'm really sad that the summer is over and the more cooler months are approaching, I am like, there are things that I love and I just want to shout them out. You might be feeling a little sad and I think I was feeling really down that summer was over. Started welcoming fall mode in the heavier kind of skincare routine i love it i miss it i love like coziness i miss my robe like i missed my ugg robe so much like i'm excited to drink hot cider i'm excited to get back on my tea train because these are just all things that the spring and the summer come and I kind of just forget about them. I'm gonna go back to like my cozy thermal pajamas, Halloween socks. I have to find them. I'm gonna wear them tonight. I'm just, I love Halloween. Really, I love Halloween. Really not looking forward to Christmas and Thanksgiving at all, but we're not there. So we're not gonna speak upon it just yet. Every season kind of blush, it's Tower 28 in Beach Please. This is in the shade Rush Hour and I'm using this crown brush that I always use. And I just find like this is a very sweet, very flattering shade. I feel like this would look beautiful on so many people with so many different skin tones. And I do put a little bit into my crease just to like bring it all together. I do dab it on my nose. I put a little bit above my brows. I don't know. This is just what I do. I kind of like literally put blush almost like everywhere. I love this powder, Givenchy, and it annoys me that I love it, but it's really good and so I'm gonna use it. Can you see the difference between this side that's powdered and this side that's just like a little too dewy for my liking. Another thing that I'm excited for is makeup. I love summer makeup. It's easy, it's breezy, it's one, two, three, but I just feel like makeup gets a little bit more creative. I'm mostly excited to sit still. Can anyone relate to that? I feel like in the summer it's like going, going, going and I love it and like, don't get me wrong, I get very bored in the winter and I hate how boring that it is, but I feel like by the time October comes around, I'm just like tired of moving. I'm tired of going from place to place. So I'm excited to just kind of be here at home and I want to make the home a little bit homier. I want to clean up today. I use my NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is my favorite brush of all time. It's great for those of you who are on the go, who are rushing because I have a bronzer brush and a blush brush on the other side. I'm going over it all with this bronzer just to like set it. Dolce Vita, this powder blush. Using powder on top of creams helps it all last longer. So I'm just dabbing. I finally popped my bad boy open, my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray because I finished my normal size one, but this is the Jumbo and oh my God, I love her. Just like a blast. And then I use my fan. Pat McGrath, Nude Venus. It was a little bit of color. See, but it just feels really jutesy peachy pink, which is super, super flattering. Going into my NARS Wanted palette, this is discontinued, but you can literally use any palette. More of like a neutral, kind of like perfect aut autumnal brown. It's like an orangey brown. I've been going in the crease and like focusing it right here. It kind of opens the eye in comparison to this eye by just taking it and focusing it right above the pupil into the crease then bringing it in like this and then I kind of just whisk it across the lid. Gives what you need it to give, like a little bit of definition, but no one is gonna look at you and be like, wow, you literally took eyeshadow and just threw it all over the place, which is essentially what I'm doing. It just works with this color. Maybe I'll use a little bit of this. Let's use Moira. I normally wouldn't do this, so you know, you could just ignore what I'm doing, um, but I'm gonna put a little bit of Moira. This is in the shade. It's something brown. I'll put it down below because it doesn't say it on the pot. But can you see how that just adds a little bit of something to the lid? And it goes really beautifully with that brown. Honestly, I'm glad that I did this. Grande brows. And I like it when I do pluck my brows. So I just plucked them and I hate it because look at what it just did. I don't know. I just find like it makes it look really chunky, 
but I do like that it has brow serum in it because you guys know with my castor oil and whatnot, I'm very into like growing my brows out again. I've been watching older videos of mine just because sometimes I like to do that. It's nice to look back, see how far you've come. And my God, did I have very bushy brows and I kind of miss them and I'm embracing it more because it reminds me of my dad. Like I get my brows from my dad and I miss my dad and I'm called Lash at all. I honestly don't wear mascara that much. Honestly, I think I wear mascara like maybe twice a week. I have been trying to grow my lashes out and I find that like putting makeup on them and then washing the makeup off, you kind of just like run the risk of getting too aggressive with the lashes. And like, I try to be gentle. You could say just be gentle, but if you are someone that struggles with skin issues or like any kind of issue or like you're trying to get your lashes to grow and they're not growing less makeup is better and there is the very quick finished makeup look if you don't follow me on instagram i often share a lot of things from other creators on my stories and i like to share like inspirational quotes or just like pictures that make me feel good and i recently came across this photo on instagram again if you follow me on instagram you will have seen that i did share this i think i've shared this a few times this is by an artist her name is maggie van de Waal. i really hope that i'm saying that right i will link her etsy shop down below I commented on the picture and was like can you please print this because she has an etsy shop and she printed it and i bought it eight by ten watercolor print and the name of it is straight on till morning. And there is not a single thing that I don't like about it. I, I, I need to show it to you. And I got this quite a few days ago in the mail. It's been sitting here torturing me because I wanted to open it with you guys. Very excited. And Mike and I bought a frame when we went to Amazon. When we went to Amazon, when we went to Home Goods. Oh my God, guys. I need to take it out of the plastic, but how freaking good is that? Oh my god, I love it so much. She had really cute cards. And I love hummingbirds. And I don't know what it is about this one. I really like this. It's a hummingbird with a little bee that looks like he's about to fight him on his beak. I don't know. It's cute. The bee's like doing karate on his beak. This really pretty card as well. And it has hummingbirds and bees all over it. Her work is just like to die for. I'm gonna go see what Michael's doing because I need to start putting the home goods things out. So we're gonna see if he's up to the unboxing. So good. Can you see? It's a cat in a witch hat and it's being carried straight through the morning by bats. And if you know me, you know I love bats, you know I love cats, and you know I love Halloween. Oh my god, and there's little mice in the cornfields. Like, guys, how good is that? You're gonna ignore everything that's going on around the picture, but I put the picture in a frame. It is so stinking cute. How cute does it look in this frame? Mike actually picked this frame out when we went to Home Goods, and I was just like, babe, I don't think it's gonna look good on in the frame, but it looks fantabulous in this frame. Shout out to Mike. I got an 11 by 14 frame matted to fit an 8 by 10 photo. Matted is the white around it but the matting for some reason was like this much too big so i took the picture that maggie sent me out of the matted that she sent me and i put it in the picture frames matted frame so i did a little arts and craftsy it took me a good like 10 minutes to figure it out because i really didn't want to ruin the picture and i just wanted to get it up i'm a very impatient person mike was like reach out to maggie ask her how she can help uh, maggie i figured it out we figured it out it reminds me of brogan in a dream of dreams like a dream would be for me to be a cat being lifted by a bunch of bats over a field of corn with little mice in it that are looking up at me how oh my god how beautiful wow i'm so excited that you're here with us <laughs> Me too. A guest. A guest. All right, welcome the to guest our host. guest host. You could be the host. I could be the guest. Honestly, no. you are the main character energy in all of my vlogs. I don't feel very energetic today. You know, you're not feeling well, but let's do it. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Lucky daddy. Let's go. All right. Welcome to our home goods autumnal hall. Thank you. Big thank you to our sponsor, Home Goods. Could you imagine? They paid for all this stuff? No, I wish. That'd be epic. I, paid, I still can't I believe for all this that stuff. all this stuff we're about to share with everybody only cost 20 bucks, like you told me. 20 bucks? That's what I said? It was more than 20 bucks. It was like $200. No. In no, candles. No, it was $200 no. in candles because Michael clearly has a scent addiction. We're going to blame me for this. I mean, wow. most of these candles are yours, which we're about to see. Okay, so I organized. We have autumnal candles. We have everyday candles. You say that weird. I think you're autumnal. Autumnal. 
Autumn. Autumn. Oh. Autumnal. Okay. How do you say it? Autumnal. Autumnal. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Maybe it just doesn't sound good. I don't know. I, I'm I've had a bad week with words, so. Yeah. How do you, how did you say? Anguilla? Anguilla? Anguilla. Yeah. Anguilla? We still don't know. No, Up for debate. Is it Anguilla? I think we, yeah. All right. Let's do I'll the. Take that L. You'll take the L. I'll take the W. Let's do everything that's not candles first, which is the most exciting to me. Skeleton My napkins. My skeleton napkins. How epic are these? I love that they're gold and they're black. Love it. We love gold and black in this house. And I can't wait to wipe my face with all the food that's on it that Mike makes. You're gonna wipe your face? I'm gonna wipe my, my face. They are little, but like they're napkins. Okay, cool. I like these better. You're already hating. Okay, so this is Mike's find. You should take credit for this. Go ahead, show the people. Mm, dish towels. Dish towels. Boo. You're, he's not enthusiastic about it. He's not a Halloween lover. Look at all of the cute ghosts. I would say, what's my favorite, what's my favorite Halloween character? Rogan. No, I mean, yeah, but like, you know, out of like pumpkins. Ghosts. Yeah, I love ghosts. Ghosts are my favorite. I love a good ghost. I love a ghost. These are delicious. They are Highly delicious. recommend. We got them as a gift from a friend. From a friend, yeah. She and, bought us a big tub of them. And I ate them all. And Mike, I had a couple. They were pretty good. They're the Sanders Milk Chocolate Sea Salt Caramels. Delicious. What do you, what do you call those? Chocolabras? What? <laughs> what are they called? Candelabras? What's the other word I'm thinking Chupacabra? of? Chupacabra? What's that? That is a Latin American mythical creature. Show us the chupacabras. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got Candelabras. Some, we got some... Candlesticks. We got candlesticks. Well, candle holders. Candlesticks too, but we'll get to that. Those aren't candlesticks? Oh, candlesticks are the candles you put in them. Yeah, so we got these bad boys. But what is your problem with them? You don't really I love like that. They're, but um, why? I feel like they look like they're, they're out of Lord of the Rings or something. They are. They do. Look, but they're our Halloween set. These are our fall sets. This is our fall set. Okay. Falsetta. All right, just be careful with the glass table. Falsetta. And these are a little bit... These are like every day, every season sets. Yeah, these are a little bit better in my opinion. You still don't like these that much though either. Oh, I do. Who makes these? Rachel Zoe. You're loving Rachel Zoe. I'm loving. You're loving. And then who makes the other ones? I don't know. Nandor. I really love these. <laughs> I really like these. You now, found these, so you should take credit. Yeah, but these. I got them. I go. showed them to you because I thought you would like them. So these are taper candles. Eucalyptus scented. But they're like a really pretty color, you know, kind of like a neutral green. Mm -hmm. They smell really good. They do smell good. They smell so good. Much. All right, let's play a game now. How many, guess how many candles we, oh, I counted when we were in Home Goods though. I just counted while we were sitting here. How many do we have? Well, there's six and five is 11. All right, we got bought 11 candles. Did you take any from this? No. I know you, you like to steal all the candles. Do you remember? all the candles that you picked yourself exclusively? Uh, absolutely. One is called Speakeasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's this one. Okay, so show the Speakeasy. Oh, uh, wow! Speakeasy by Sand and Fog, inspired by the California coast. Wow, we love the California coast. You like very... Manly scents. But like subtle scents. Yeah. I like a candle that smacks you in the face yes. the second you walk is, into the room. Yeah, this is very true. Like that's not a little only, nauseating. Not only does it smack you, but it grabs you by the throat and like punches you in the stomach a couple times. Too. Okay, that's a little dramatic. We probably should have turned the TV off for this. Do oh, you think they can hear the TV? Probably, but it's too late now. Okay. I know I have another one that I think is like tobacco pipe. I'm gonna go lower the TV. You continue on with uh, your Don't tobacco. leave me here alone, please. Why? I'm not a celebrity. Like you, you are, are a celebrity. celebrity. Press pause. Oh my god, please pause for this paid program. We back. Obviously, I'm gonna do my favorite candle of them all. I don't even think it smells like anything, but it has ghosts all over it. That's my favorite candle. It's by Light Candle Co. And I don't... It's like, it doesn't smell like fall though. It smells like cupcakes. Yeah, it does. It smells like, like vanilla it's, cupcakes. It's like a sweet scent, but like, look how cute. And I'm definitely gonna keep the this. Jar. I'm definitely gonna burn the candle and then keep the jar. Horror. And keep it out all year round. Right. In my room upstairs, I have Halloween things out all year. Right. Yeah. It's always Halloween in it's there. It's always Halloween. It's always a little scary in there. Oh, 
All right, you next. Let's not forget where we're at though, because mm. we have a lot of candles. Which one do you want to do next? I think this one is tobacco pipe or something like that. Be careful. Nope, wrong. Warm Fireside by Wooden Wick. Oh, and I like Wooden Wick. What I like least about this candle is the enclosure at the top. That's what I, I like mean, the most. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, what if I wanted to burn this in the summer? Why would you? I guess Fireside. Yeah, yeah that could be. It smells good though. Another subtle scent. Very subtle. There's like nothing exciting about that in my opinion. Now, is that for your room? So was, Mike bought candles for his room. For my office. For his office. And then I bought the ghost for my beauty space. She bought candles to keep people out of the house because they smell so aggressive. That's not very Pungent. nice. <laughs> I like, but my problem is that I like the candles that come in cute things and then they don't, but this one smells good though. I see, I love that. You're not going to like that. No, he know. hates it. But look at the cute pumpkins. My eyes are watering. Yeah, it is. It's a little, it's much. A loom home, hand poured in San Diego. We're just like Californian it up over here and it's pumpkin pie. Here's mine, warm tobacco pipe. Right, you like that kind of scent. And this smells like a leather chair that someone has sat in for Oh, that smells really good actually. Years. I like a leather chair that someone has sat in for 40 years. Yeah. I like this one because it's, yeah, that's a cool container. You picked this though. Yeah. This was your pick. But I picked it for you. Harvest for Collection Aroma Light. This is a, th I think this should be our Thanksgiving candle. I like that. It's light. It's actually good, which makes sense that I picked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not very nice. Teak wood mahogany. I thought it said freak wood. That's a different kind of candle, I think, for a different day. <laughs> this smells amazing to me. That smells like you. It's honestly. like a very clean. That smells like a cologne you would wear. Yeah, it's a very clean scent. Why don't you round it out with your last one? Why? You didn't put the cap on. What's oh, your name, Fortune? Sorry. Um, um. This is um. Um. Oh, it is om. Um. Look at that. Yeah. Create it's your own calm. Frankincense <laughs> and citrus. I hate that. This is also very good. That's terrible. Right. I hate that. Well, that's because it smells It's very clean. citrusy. This is your candle, everyone. Let's all be in shock. What do we see at the top of it? What is it? You picked this. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, yeah, This is a, a really nice smelling candle, but it, again, they ruined it with the topper. Happy Halloween. But you could just get rid of the topper. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That smells nice. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I like scent. that a lot. And then, I mean, technically, you can do this one because you picked this one out, but it is harvest. Based. Sandalwood myrrh. Yeah. Mm, I like that too. Maybe I'll steal that for my room. Also Sandalwood myrrh by Ohm DW Home. This is the same one as the Ohm one. Yeah. It smells like soap. I don't like well, look, soapy I scents. Mean, we had a lot of candles. We don't right now, so we restocked. We restocked. And if you were to buy these like online, we would have paid a lot more. So yeah, we they were worth it. Uh, see, I like this. The only person that was aggravated by these candles was the lady that was waiting to get into the candle aisle at Home Goods. I know. She, she was, was like trying annoyed. to muscle us. Yeah. But but we made space for her. Yeah, we did. I like this. It's like sweet. Yuck. Yuck. Okay. Babe, what candle are we going to burn tonight in honor of Halloween season? You pick. You're the Halloween queen. No, I think you should pick. I don't want to. I want to save this for Thanksgiving. I feel like this is a Thanksgiving scent. Harvest aroma. And I'll probably go with this one. All right, so let's burn that one. Pumpkin Woods. Yeah, I like this one. All right, let's burn and that one. This one's one. not going to make me throw up. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. Anytime. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>